Greg. And I'm Billy. And we're the Fuji guys. Fuji guys. Hey, Billy's going to give you a first look at our W3 real 3D digital camera. This is the latest technology from Fujifilm and the first of its kind in the world. Uh, we had our first version, the W1, before. This one has some new advanced features that Billy's going to tell you about as he takes you through all the sides of this camera and shows you what it's got. Thank you, Greg. Uh, first thing you want to take a look at is it's actually a lot more compact mm -hmm. uh, than the previous models of, of a 3D camera uh, and a lot more lighter and also looks more like a, a digital camera in terms of you know different cameras that we offered in, in our lineup in terms of control. So I'll take you a, a quick look through the camera. Of, of course, if we take a look at the front, you notice there's a sliding cover, and we slide that down. The lights turn blue, and now you, now it shows the two different dual lenses that are on this camera, and it uses dual lenses to give you the 3D effect. That's why we call it real 3D. That's correct. There's a few other. People that, people that are trying tricks, calling them 3D, but you can't really get the real 3D effect unless you're shooting stereoscopic. And just like your eyes, the distance between the lens is very similar to that of, of uh, how your eyes are positioned uh, as well. So it does give you that, that how, how the eyes see it, and that's what we want to do with this 3D camera. Uh, it offers 3D... Uh, 3D uh, movies as well in stereo sound. So there's two microphones on the front of the camera. There's also a little flash right there in the front. So that's a quick look at the front. If we take a look out now at the sides, one of the other one of the sides are of course blank, but the other interesting side is where the strap is attached to, so that uh, you don't drop the camera, of course. And if we open up this little sl sl cover, there's actually a mini HDMI uh, connector okay. that allows you to connect to a 3D ready television. So you can actually play 3D images off of this camera directly to one of these uh, 3D, 3D ready, ready, ready TV. TV. But I can also uh, play my 2D images in HD to that TV using Absolutely. that port as well, right? And, and, and also uh, 3D videos as well. So everything right. that you can do in 3D, you can also do in 2D as well. Okay. Uh, there's also a USB port on the side of that for you to download images uh, to the computer. Okay. Now if we take a look at the bottom of the camera. We have the speakers. We have the tripod mount. And of course, we have the battery cover. And we open that up. It reveals uh, two things, of course the MP50 rechargeable battery okay. uh, that's included with the camera and also the, uh, uh, the the memory card slot which of course it uses an SD card and we highly recommend you use a class 4 SD card in order for you to record um, you know high definition video otherwise it may stop uh, because it doesn't have that fast mm -hmm. right time. So I'm going to put that back in and the covers back into the camera. Let's take a look at the top of the camera first. Uh, we have the shutter release button, we have the zoom controls, so wide angle telephoto, and then we have a parallax control, which, you know, if you're taking very close up shots and you find that the image don't look as, as 3D as they should be in terms of being aligned correctly, um, you can use these to manually adjust that. But the, of course, Greg, the camera does an awesome job with its auto parallax control, right. so you don't really have to play around. Yeah, we're going to have other videos that are going to tell you a lot of tips on how to shoot 3D photography, so a whole discussion on parallax and how to use the overrides of the camera will be covered in that video. But safe to say, shooting in 3D has a lot of its own rules, if you want to call them that. And again, we're going to go through that in a future video, so come back and watch that one if you're interested in using this camera. That's good, Greg. Um, so, of course, the, the big thing about this camera is that not only does it shoot 3D, but you know, with this 3.5-inch three, three widescreen high-res uh, uh, LCD, you can see 3D off of the camera without any glasses. That's amazing. Which is amazing. And you have to sort of see it in, in person to see how good this, this uh, the screen is compared to even our first generation of yeah. 3D. And I thought the first one was pretty amazing in itself. But to see this one sort of bounce out at you, uh, it's very vibrant in terms of the, the colors on the, on, the, on the LCD. And as well, this this what we call less crosstalk, yeah. and that's the flickering type of effect that you find that can make you very dizzy. This is completely improved, and it's just, again, it's a wow thing when yeah. you take a look on the screen of that. So that's just a quick look at, uh, at the images there. And of course, if we take a look at the back of, of the camera, you've got the screen, of course. You've got the command dial that allows you to change the different modes. Uh, you have things like, you know, um, you know the program, you know, aperture, full manual controls. Uh, um, there's also scene position mode. So you really get a lot of the same controls that you get on a regular camera with this 3D camera. Pretty much, pretty yeah. much. And of course, there's also some advanced 3D features as well that you can do uh, a special, special things to take uh, maybe close-up shots that uh, give you a, a 
greater depth of uh, 3D on the camera. There's a video button that switches between the movie mode and, of course, picture taking mode. You have the playback mode uh, button. You also have the, the dials, like, like in any of our Fuji cameras, that allow you to navigate the menu screens going up, down, left, right. They also act as extra buttons to control the flash, self-timer, macro function. 